Mormonism has another Jesus. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, or the Mormon Church, claims to worship Jesus Christ. It also claims to be a Christian church. However, it does not worship the Jesus of biblical Christianity. Mormon leaders have admitted that they believe in another Jesus. One official of the Mormon Church has declared, it is true that many of the Christian churches worship a different Jesus Christ than is worshipped by the Mormons. And sign May 77, page 26. In fact, Mormonism worships a false Christ. In Matthew 1, 18-25 and Luke 1, 26-35, the Bible says that Christ was begotten by the Holy Ghost and was born of a virgin. The Mormon Church denies this truth. truth. The second president of the Mormon Church declared Jesus Christ was not begotten of the Holy Ghost. Journal of Discourses, Volume 1, page 51. In fact, the Mormon Jesus was begotten by a sexual relationship between Mary and God, the Father. One early Mormon leader wrote, It was the personage of the Father who begat the body of Jesus. The seer, page 158. Present-day Mormon apostle Bruce McConkie says of Christ, He was begotten, conceived, and born in the normal and natural course of events, for He is the Son of God. And that designation means what it says, Mormon doctrine. Page 742. The Jesus of the Bible is God. He has always been God. According to John 1.1, 1, 1, Philippians 2.6, and Hebrews 1.8, this is not true of the Mormon Jesus. According to the Mormon church, Jesus became a God. Mo Joseph Smith said, I have always declared God to be a distinct personage. Jesus Christ, a separate and distinct personage from God the Father, and the Holy Ghost was a distinct personage and a spirit. And these three constitute three gods. History of the Church, Volume 6, page 474. In October of 1984, one Mormon apostle stated, anyone who believes and teaches of God the Father and accepts the divinity of Christ and of the Holy Ghost teaches a plurality of gods. In sign, November 84, page 68, Mormon apostle Bruce McConkie says, the Lord Jesus worked out his own salvation. That's our relationship with the Lord, page 9. In the Bible, Jesus is worshipped. See Matthew 8, 6, 8 2, Matthew, uh, Mark 5, 6, Luke 24, 52, John 9, 38, and Hebrews 1, 6. However, Mormonism says that Jesus is not to be worshipped. Bruce McConkie declares, we do not worship the Son. Our relationship with the Lord, page 5. To a Mormon, Jesus is merely an important member of the Godhead and, and sign January 84, page 17. The biblical Jesus was the most forgiving of men. He declared, The Son of Man has not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. Luke 9, 56. He showed this in the events surrounding his crucifixion and resurrection. He was mocked, spit upon, beaten, and whipped. Pilate's soldiers crowned him with thorns. Yet Jesus made no attempt to defend himself. Though the Bible states in Matthew 26, 53, that he could have called upon thousands of angels to aid him. As the soldiers nailed him to the cross, Christ prayed, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Luke 23, 34. At Christ's death, there was an earthquake that tore the veil of the temple in half, yet it did no other damage. Matthew 27, 50-51. Another earthquake which did no damage occurred at his resurrection. Instead, the graves were open, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose and came out of the graves. Matthew 27, 52 through 53. This is not the Mormon Jesus. The Book of Mormon contains an account of the events that supposedly took place in the Western Hemisphere at Christ's death. According to the, his, this account, 16 cities were destroyed with all their inhabitants, some being burnt, some sinking into the sea, and some being buried under tons of earth and rock. The Book of Mormon tells us in 3 Nephi 8.25 that those who killed and stoned the prophets and cast them out were spared, while innocent women and children died. When the destruction was complete, a voice was heard taking credit for the lives and lost in the cities laid in ruins. According to the Book of Mormon, the one responsible for this carnage was Jesus Christ, the Son of God. 3 Nephi 9.15 Rather than being a savior, the Mormon Jesus is a slaughterer and is responsible for the deaths of uncountable, 
thousands. However, the Christ in the Bible came that they might have life, John 10, 10. There is no salvation in worshiping a false Christ. Jesus himself warned his disciples to beware of false Christ. And if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets. Matthew 24, 24. Trusting in the Jesus of Mormonism can never lead to eternal life. A Jesus who is not the real Jesus has no power to save. Only the Jesus of the Bible can offer eternal life. For, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Acts four twelve. How does one obtain eternal life? The Bible states in Acts sixteen thirty one: Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The word believe does not mean to simply acknowledge Jesus as the Savior or to merely say that one believes in him. Believe means to place total and complete trust in Christ and to depend on him alone for eternal life. Don't place your trust in a church, baptism, a prophet, or in a false Christ. Put your faith solely in the Jesus of the Bible. Romans 10, 9 states, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. God gives you the promise that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 If you will trust him, he will keep his promise.